Hi everyone, it's Miss Olson, and um, today I'm going to show you how to take your portrait in which we had a mood on our face showing um, the mood of our landscaper memory. Mine was happy um, with my family on a cruise on Christmas, um, on a holiday. So um, we are taking our portrait and turning it into a final work with our sunglasses. Um, this one was um, my other memory that I had. Now, what we're going to do is first, um, you will make sure that your glasses were cut out. Some of us did that already. If you did not yet, you want to carefully trim those out. And when I say to cut carefully, I'm just saying, um, you know, you worked really hard on this. So you do want to take your time. You want to cut off the white spaces, but you don't want to cut, um, anything that's important off either. So it's a fine line um, to stay on. Right between the white and the color, it takes some time, some patience. So we do have our whole class just to glue and cut, and that's why, because I want you to take your time while you're cutting. So I'm cutting just my glasses out. Now, if there is a white space, for example, if there's a white space showing on the side, you can either cut it off or you can finish coloring it in. And these are my sunglasses. So now <clears throat> that you're also going to cut your portrait out. So I'm going to give you a smaller portrait and a larger portrait. One will be more of your face and one will include part of your body. And that's up to you which one you choose. I'll show you the difference here. Um, if you choose the larger one, then your face is going to be larger and be more realistic. If you choose a smaller one, you'll see more of your body, um, but you it'll be more abstract because the glasses will be bigger. So that's up to you which one you choose. So you're going to then cut your portrait out carefully so that there aren't any white spaces um, and so that you don't cut off your body. And you want to cut it so that this line at the bottom is flat carefully on that edge all the way around so that you have your full face and no empty white spaces. Now after that you're going to go up to the front of the room and you're going to choose between black, white, and gray and that is going to keep your background pretty much monochromatic which means one color and just one So we are going to choose black, white, or gray paper. And when you are choosing your paper color, you can see how your portrait looks on that background. So you can also think of your mood. You can think of black, white, or gray, um, how it goes with your mood. So this one kind of flushes me out a little bit. I think I need black or white with mine. I'm going to try out black because this was... Uh, a nighttime memory. It'll go with my, with my theme. Now what I'm going to do is decide how I want my portrait to, or my glasses to be glued. Once you have all of that without any white spaces, then you can um, glue it down. Now when you're gluing, a couple things. Just because the glue comes out easily doesn't mean we need to use a lot. You just want to use a dot, not a lot. The other thing is if you use too much glue, it's going to ruin your portrait that you took and your artwork. It's going to make it look either bumpy or it's going to bleed through the ink and it's going to make the ink all run on your face. So what we want to do is now cut, or sorry, glue on the back of each piece. You want to make sure this um, bottom edge is lined up with your bottom. You're not floating in the air. So you want to make sure it's lined up down here. And then after you glue, you're going to have to rewrite your name and class code on the back because we don't have that written on our new paper either. So name and class code on the back. I'm starting with just some dots, not a lot. I put them towards the edge so that it doesn't ruin my face. And now a secret is you can kind of use your finger to blend the glue in so that it doesn't leave bumps on your paper. But that's a personal choice you're making, and you can just rub it off of your finger. We're not going to go run and wash our hands. That's a choice. So now I'm gluing that down where I chose to put it. 
And I am going to now glue my glasses down in the same way. Just some dots, not a lot. Just some dots, not a lot. Glue that on. And now I have my completed moody portrait. Now, some students have asked if they could add um, some type of detail in the background. For me personally, this is finished for me. Um, but if you choose to do some type of pattern or detail in the background for your um, memory, kind of as a just a floating background for you, choose a consistent pattern that um, is repeated throughout um, and choose symbols or images um, like a line or shape that can go with your memory. So for example, maybe I do stars because it's night, or maybe I do um, straight blue lines to represent the watery area that I was in. So you should have a meaning for the pattern and it should go with the look of your work. So that's up to you. Some people left theirs empty. Some people added that background pattern. Um, name and class code on the back. First, you are going to cut your glasses so you can choose your portrait. Second, you're going to carefully trim your face as well. And then you're going to um, choose your composition with the paper color, gray or black or white. And then you can glue it on and make sure your name and class code are on the back. Have a wonderful art class and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.